Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is uh, March 16th. It's Monday. Um, it's actually very nice out today. We got a lot of melting going on again. I'm actually starting to see some spots in the yard where the snow is actually gone, but we still got a ways to go. Unfortunately, we had a lot of snowpack. So, it's, but it's been a real gradual melt up here. So it's been really nice in that aspect. So we haven't had to really deal with the flooding, even though all the creeks are really running high. Um, what I want to talk about, I actually had a conversation on the phone last night with Fred, um, who's down in Virginia, so hey Fred, <laughs> give me a shout out here. Um, and he was talking about, uh, you know, um, people that, that, are gonna, that are in suburbia or the city that are, gonna, that are planning on bugging in or bugging out. Um, and that situation and the pros and cons of, you know, each one. Now, the one good thing I would say about bugging in um, and, this, and obviously this is just my opinion, and you guys tell me what you think when we're done with this video, um, you know, and stuff like that. If you bug in and, you know, you have more access to um, resources, you know, when other houses are empty, uh, I'm, I'm speaking in the suburban sense, not in the, in the city sense, but uh, in the suburban sense, if when the other houses are empty, you can go and you can get resources from these other homes of, of stuff that people left behind. Um, that That's one good aspect of bugging in. Okay. Um, some bad aspects of bugging in, you know, once you, you you're gonna, there's good people and there's going to be bad people. There, it's always been that way. So, but with, when there's no rule of law, the bad people, basically there's no restraints or restrictions from law enforcement anymore because law enforcement doesn't exist anymore because they've all gone off to take care of their own families. You know, um, it is, uh, you know, it's going to be complete chaos. So you're going to have basically, you know, looting, raping, murders, um, you know, people stealing from people, taking what they have. And let's throw into the fact as well, just your regular mild manner people. Um, this is one of the things Fred and I were discussing. That uh, you know might have two kids and was a you know good citizen and did everything that he needed to do, but now he doesn't have anything and you know he doesn't have food and and stuff like that and his kids are hungry and uh, he's going to do whatever is necessary to get them food and stuff like that. So I mean you can take your mildest person and you're going to turn them into an animal when they're hungry. You know I mean or as in, uh, like Fred said, in the, in the mama bear with her cubs mentality. You know, you're going to do what you need to do to protect your own. Um, now, bugging out situation, if you decide to bug out, realistically, you're taking one load of stuff with you. And, you know, like, well, so if you have two vehicles, you're taking two loads of stuff with you. Don't anticipate coming back and getting more stuff, because that's probably not a realistic expectation. I mean, you'd be lucky to get out with what you have. Um, and a lot of it really depends on the time frame, what time frame you have. Um, again, Katrina is a great example of that. For the first 72 hours, people helped each other and tried to do the right thing and everything like that. And then once they realized that the government was not coming in to save the day, that's when, when chaos really broke loose, you know. Um, and, and I'm talking about, you know, in, in this scenario that I'm talking about is a, you know, SHT, you know, F situation, you know, so it's realistically, I mean, you know, who knows, you know, I mean, but, but anyway, now to bugging out, if you have a location or you have a safe place that you can go that already has supplies, um, you know, or if you live on your retreat, like that's my plan is I plan on living on my retreat. So once I'm there and if things go down, um, you know, then I can, I'm already there and everything that I have is already there. And I have people coming to join me that I can trust that are part of my group. And, uh, you know, and, and that, that's the, the importance of having a community. And I have some other people that want to join me up there on the proper or down there, I should say on the property, it's up in the hills, but it's down in the Southern tier. Um, I have people that want to join me. So, you know, you already have a community in place, and then you have other people in the group that are going to come in and join to strengthen the group. You cannot survive any situation by yourself. It's absolutely impossible, in my opinion. There's no way you're surviving alone, because you're going to get hurt, 
you're going to get sick, and then who's going to take care of things if you're down? You know, you have to have, you have to have other people to rely on. So in my situation, I, I believe bugging out is the better situation because what my plan is in, you know, in, in a S-H-T, you know, F situation is to hunker down, try to ride it out as much as I can while I continue to fortify my position while I continue to work with my people and just get ready and lay low and let the chaos reign and do people do what they're going to do, you know, and uh, just continue to get ready for whatever, you know, um, like I said, fortifying the positions. And you're going to, you're looking at, uh, you know, 24 hours a day, you're going to have somebody on guard. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of logistics that go with it. And, um, you know, in the survival of the group is the most important thing, rationing food. You know, it wouldn't be like now where you just go down and help yourself to whatever you want because then you can go and replace it. Well, you know, you can't then. You have to ration stuff and realize that there's only so much. And, it dep and again, depending on how big your group is and how much food you have, you know, it's it, it's just it's just the way it is. So anyway, um, I'm a big believer in getting out of the situation and letting the chaos reign, um, hunkering down, and then, you know, we're ready to deal with whatever. Now, the people in the city are going to destroy the inner city. The, 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 your bad element is going to destroy the inner city. And once they've destroyed everything and used every resource that's in there, and that could even take a few months. I mean, it wouldn't be overnight, okay? Well, where do you think they're going to go next? They're going to go to suburbia. But now, they've weeded out the weak, the weak are gone, and only the strong are surviving. But if you have people bugging in in their, in their locations in suburbia, and here's another thing with that, in, in bugging in suburbia. If the neighbors see smoke coming out of your chimney, and let's say, I'm going to go by the scenario of upstate New York, um, you know, in the northeast here. It's wintertime and something goes down. You know, and they see smoke coming out of your chimney and they're freezing. Well, that's not fair. You know, how, how come they got heat and we don't? They're going to come knocking on your door. So that, that's another reason for me to be out of the situation and be out away um, because most people in the country, especially the area where I'm at, you know, a lot of them heat with wood. A lot of them have wood already. So, you know, they're not going to come knocking on your door looking for, you know, to get warm, you know. And I believe that out there the people would have the tendency to band together more because it's all more like-minded people. A lot of people out there prep just naturally. So, um, so that's what I, I, I think that that's the better way to go, um, you know. Because I don't want a mob of people coming to my house if I'm bugging in in suburbia and taking everything that I have, you know. I mean, you would basically, if you were going to bug in, you would not want a fire in the wintertime. You would want to try to hunker down, let people think the house was abandoned, and, uh, you know, and go from that aspect. But, you know, I don't want to have to do that. I want to continue to do what I need to do, continue to let my kids be warm um, and my group and you know and do what I need to do in that aspect so the gist of the conversation is what do you guys think is a better thing to do do you think it's better to bug in to bug out and again if you don't have a bug out location or you don't have a group right now what the heck are you waiting for you know being organized now and preparing now is so much smarter than waiting to the last minute and making a decision then that's just stupidity on my part but there's the sheep and the wolves, you know what I mean? The sheep will just continue to go along and do what they're told, and the wolves get ready, you know? And uh, it's going to be survival of the fittest in, you know, in that situation. So um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, tell me your thoughts. And like I said, for me, it's, it's getting out of Dodge and living on my retreat is the smartest thing that you could possibly do. And knowing that I have good people, if they can make it to me, coming with their own supplies and or they've already have supplies on site you know and because that's what I'm going to definitely encourage of my you know the people in my group to keep supplies on site and then obviously try to bring whatever else they can when they come alright so that's it for now guys uh, Prepper Nurse 1 out